All right, everyone, welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to talk about why does the Android community not have decent developers who will, you know, develop anything for them? Because a lot of people are wondering, okay, so why is there no good PS2 emulator out there? How is it that we don't have emulators that work nicely? And if they work just to some extent, they're spyware. For instance, the Daemon PS2 the egg ns these are all spyware we all know it uh there's no secret there's no reason that your fucking emulator needs your location and you know access to your context and all that kind of shit there's absolutely no reason for an emulator to ever fucking want that at all so um also if you check the network activity of these emulators you will really quickly figure out oh they're sending data hmm yeah not very great so overall the community is really well to put it bluntly, pretty shit. This is the reason why it doesn't really have any good emulators um, and developers who are willing to even, you know, do the whole thing. And I'm going to explain because a lot of people do seem to have some misguided idea of what you can do and what you can't do. So I'm also going to explain why um, certain things are just impossible. So let's start with the first thing where gamers are basically constantly being, you know, spied on by, you know, Chinese developers. Let's take Octopus. This is a key mapping software um, that basically allows you to map your controllers onto the touchscreen. So basically all it does is it reads the input given to the phone and then allows you to map them onto, an, uh, onto a coordinate on the screen. You need maybe five or seven at best uh, permissions to pull this off quite easily. So as you can see, this application is pretty high rated and a lot of people have rated. So let's, uh, and I also wrote spyware, let's show you one full permission. I'm going to show you why. Now I'm going to scroll down and look at the permissions, right? We're going to look at the permissions. What permissions does this action need? Um, yeah, already we have a massive red flag, don't we? Find accounts on the device, read your own contact card, modify your contact card, add or remove contact cards. Because this is obviously things the emulator needs, right? Access to your microphone, to your location, to your cellular data, to your calendar, your phone. You know, the things you need for a key map, right? Fucking take pictures and videos and read sensitive log data. Yay! Yeah, and as you can see, clueless people will, you know, just download this and... Oh, because it works, it has to be legit, right? Wrong. So as we can see, this is pure fucking spyware. There is no doubt that this is just spyware collecting data from basically idiots. And as we can see here, this has been installed over 10 million times. Literally 10 million times. And what are you doing? You're sending all your shit to some random Chinese company. Good job. Obviously, some people here uh, do not know about this. They simply download this in the belief that, oh, my favorite YouTuber said this was a good idea and I trust him because I should be more skeptical in my life. Um, but yeah, um, don't, don't, don't download this unless you really feel the need to just give everything you have to these developers. Now, back to this the whole emulator thing. Now, a lot of people have this weird idea that, oh, but why don't you just take the PS, uh, the, the PC2 version of the PS2 emulator, port it to Android and make tons of money. Duh, that's so great. Well, no, because there are certain rules and licenses. The whole thing, as far as I'm aware, is uh, under the GPL license, which says if I were to now create, let's say, um, the emulator and I wanted to sell it. I'm allowed to sell it, but I have to provide the source code. Meaning I have to download, I have to upload the entire source code onto the GitHub or, or any other site where I can, you know, share the source code. And basically anyone can just get it for free then. Sure, I can sell on a Play Store, but that wouldn't make much sense if anyone can just, you know, compile it once and then just spread it around for free. What would be the point? I wouldn't make money of it. So the whole argument of, oh, why don't you just do it? You'd get tons of money. That's just simply false because you would have to break the license and also the law in order to do so. So, yeah, 
So I made this video about this fucking scumbag here, um, Techutopia, who basically also only cares for money and fame and whatnot. He will basically tell his, um, you know, his brain dead audience to do whatever he wants. Uh, and now he also, like, he's supporting again as he made this video, do not buy this game. And for some fucked up reason, people think, oh, he is not supporting it, even though now he's literally making Facebook groups um, to, you know, celebrate Eganess and how great its performance is. He, he's marketing the fuck out of it. I wouldn't be surprised if he got some sort of deal from them at this point, where they're kind of trying to make him the face of Eganess. Which, uh, yeah, again, he's a total fucking scumbag. It only adds to this video once again. And, of course, it has a, a dislike bar because, you know, the emulation community doesn't give a shit about open source. I'm gonna further show you proof of that. And that they're basically just as scummy as this guy. And this is why you can't have nice things. So we're going to go here and say, I am Brazilian. And this is one of the comments which basically just solidifies the problem. Why nobody wants to even make it. Because the only other way you could possibly do it is by, you know, donation basis and open source. Much like other projects are doing right now. And um, basically, this is the answer which sums the entire thing up. I'm Brazilian. I agree 100%. But most Brazilians don't give a damn where the app comes from. They just want to use it. And also, they don't get their pride hurt. They defend this rubbish until the last moment. We already have a culture of not valuing ourselves so much less valuing the work of others. They think that uh, they think about the result and who will deliver first. And this is basically the problem. The only thing an open source developer really wants, in the most part, like for the most part, is just you value their work. You appreciate their work. That's all we ask for. We developers only ask for you appreciating our work. When I make my Rock 3 kernel and I give it to people, which I did, obviously, the only thing I expect is appreciate my work, maybe a thank you. That's all I want. I don't I don't charge you money. I don't do any of that kind of thing. I don't do I could just be a scumbag and be like, oh no, I'm I'm, I'm gonna charge you money for this, but I'm not. Because as an open source developer, all you want is maybe learning experience and that you value the work. That's all we want. But we don't even get this from this cancer shit community. Now, to illustrate a point really easily, this is me just making um, this video here, uh, Super Mario Galaxy Rock 3 Custom Kernel 60 FPS. So basically, as some know, I do have a uh, custom kernel which also improves, um, especially in emulation, the performance quite dramatically. Now, this seems so out of the fucking... You know, so impossible that people are literally thinking, okay, I am somehow faking this. And um, yeah, I said you streamed using of this. This is related to another video. I will uh, get into that maybe a little later. Um, now, to this video, he says, this could simply be a video game recorded on PC. Uh, notice how there's a touch screen here. Notice how there's literally running, like literally me showing how it runs on Android and the Android version of the fucking emulator, and that there's X mode, which is only available on the ROG series with Game Genie. Again, only available in the ROG series. To illustrate how fucking dumb this entire, you know, his, his, like, literally how fucking brain dead this is what he wrote. He is saying that this right here is recorded on a PC. So he's saying that I somehow installed a ROM on a PC with X mode, with X mode and Game Genie. To illustrate how dumb that's, that statement is to begin with, is X mode and Game Genie, have, they're developers who have been trying for years to port this on other devices and never even once succeeded. Not only that, even on native hardware, it was not possible so far as, as far as I'm aware. So he's saying, that I have done something people have not been able to do for years. Years and years. I apparently have done it. They haven't. Not only that, but I somehow made touchscreen emulation work on a PC without a touchscreen. Because what I don't have touchscreen support on my BenQ monitor, right? So that's literally what he's saying right now. He's, he find that more likely than me having a custom kernel which gives me better performance, which is proven that I have a custom kernel by multiple sources. That's just how dumb this community is. The community in a nutshell is basically, if you have something that we don't, it is automatically fake. So if you have, let's say, the user emulator, which 
I said your stream user, not this. This is basically referring to the first thing, which is basically, you know, a ported user version. Um, and again, it's like, how is that unlikely? It already has happened, right? The Egg NS is basically just a ported uh, user emulator with, um, okay, a shitty port at that. Um, but so if if a couple Chinese people can do it and milk money and spy on you, right? How is it that other developers cannot? What is the logic here? Why is that so unlikely in his brain? Obviously, he's a normal consumer. He, he wouldn't know. He would think that somehow it's magic. I don't know. But the thing is, this is why I'm not going to go too much into the first statement because it, in a way, it makes sense, right? A normal consumer w sees that, okay, this is seemingly ex this is seemingly very impossible, but it's not, obviously. As a developer, you know it's not. But as a consumer, how would you know? But denying that, you know, this here is running on my phone, that's just fucking brain dead. Because in, any, in every single, you have no, you don't have a single reason to doubt this is running on a phone. You see it's running Android. You see it. And this is, again... The, the denial, the delusion, the, the extreme, because he just did this for the sake of being cancerous. And here I just basically says, it's proven me developing things because, um, yeah, because he, he does obviously not understand what, what, is this, what is this to do with anything and prove it as I'm a fucking developer, right? And you see it there and it's clearly running on Android. His answer is just, obviously, like always, you ignore other things. It basically, he just ignores it because, you know, he has no answer to anything, right? He does not understand and i literally just want to figure out how the fuck he functions right because this is clearly just being a toxic piece of shit so i'm going to this right and um i'm going to uh read you this here right here and this is basically summing up another again to prove the whole point with the brazilian thing someone asked yeah well, well uh, can you have this can i have this and i'm like okay look if you users want a proper official user port you need to start fighting against eganes Basically, for those who don't know, EGNS is a stolen code from the user uh, from the user team, which has been ported to Android and basically breaches their license, and it's basically illegal, and it's basically just a spit in everyone in the user team's face. So I am uh, I'm saying this: if you users want a proper a proper official user port, you need to start fighting against EGNS and show the user team it's worth the effort. Hell, even if the user team can be bothered by showing appreciation, you might find some developers that are willing to make an Android port and maintain it. Because, again, due to the license, you have to, if you do any updates on release and stuff like that, you have to actually also update the source code, yada yada. And this is this is this is his fucking response. I can't make this shit up. I right, mate, if it'd be like that, I ain't gonna through the hassle of that. You know, the, it's a hassle to appreciate something, right? To just say, okay, I don't support this. That's apparently a hassle. Expecting developers to spend hours and hours and hours of their time making something so you can have it for free is not worth the hassle appreciating and you know just saying okay look uh i don't support egg ns you shit on my developers you know that's apparently too much of a hassle just thought if you want already got it blah, blah, blah. have a nice day week year and life or whatever bye that's the average user and it, it's it's sad to like this as you can see here on the likes and dislikes where people are literally supporting this look at this this is delicious shit they, uh, they, they, the, the thumbs up and everything. You can see this is the community. This is the ma majority of the community. And uh, this sums it up. This is why people like me cannot be bothered. Because why would I want to make, you know, something for free, work for free for scumbags? There's no reason to do so. If you cannot even appreciate work of someone, then fuck off. That's all I can say, right? And... Um, it's it's sad because there are people obviously and i can i can already there's there's another guy who wrote to me in the private message i'm not gonna like uh um who who's coming from this community and he just said yeah this community is kind of this is kind of trash this community is fucking garbage it went downhill over the years and he basically just said everything i'm not gonna show it because otherwise people are probably gonna hate on him because this community is as he says pretty fucking shit and um it's also just the whole subreddit is just full of garbage at this point um and it's it's just what it is, right? And they're obviously nice people, like this smiley dude, right? He's like, my bad, I forgot. He just cares about, oh, it's it's this, and I I just want to emulate. Hey, nice, I like, you know, just normal user, right? And it's kind of bad because, uh, it's kind of sad because these people, you know, the smiley guy or the guy who, who wrote me on Reddit or uh, the other uh, who contact me via Discord or Zentalk or, you know, they don't get... Uh, an open source team to actually you know develop things for them because of the m 
scumbags that just drives them away. And it's that fucking simple. It's that simple. It's so sad, really. Um, because this could really... You could have gotten so many things. You would probably have a PS2 emulator by now if you weren't such fucking dickheads. I mean, so far we do have open source PS2 project right now, which is Play. And we do have an open source uh, emulator, which is Switch. And the, the development is going slow. Agonizingly slow. And the reason, again, because a lot of um, experienced uh, developers who could you know speed up the whole thing a lot... Just can't be bothered. Why to invest time and effort and, you know, just general intelligence for a bunch of scumbags who can't be bothered to even appreciate your work? That's going to be it in a nutshell at this point. I know I repeated it a lot because I want to hammer it in for those who just are genuinely curious why there exists no emulator for the PS2 or the, you know, Switch or like a proper use useful one. And uh, yeah, so this last part will just be, you know, me showing real quick. This is this entire thing is indeed running because the only thing you could possibly say it's fake is, oh, it's not a rock three. It's a rock five, you know. Yeah, just to destroy every shred of doubt you could possibly have. I will then also show uh me recording how it runs on th rock three and um yeah doing a lot of hmm just to showcase the sheer ridiculousness okay i already showed the sheer ridiculousness of uh, the community um the android emulation community so uh yeah i think that's it from my side and uh, going to be the last part and then i hope you learned something and um yeah be be nice human beings you know, appreciate open source projects, you know, just telling the, you don't need to pay or anything, just if you like user, for instance, and you didn't say thank you yet, you know what, you can say thank you, it really, like, that in itself gives the developers more and more reason and motivation to actually work a little bit harder or a little bit longer on the project, because a thank you for an open source developer actually means quite a bit, just saying. Until then, I'm out. Hey. Here it is, the Rock 3. Um, here is the ultimate proof that this is indeed a Rock 3. I'm going to turn this thing around, and as we can see, it has the heatsink and everything, and a little hole, yada, yada. This is indeed the Rock 3. The reason I'm holding it is because of the serial number and stuff. We're going to completely disable Wi Fi and mobile data. Now it's, you know, nothing left, right? Even though it's unnecessary because I'm going to start Dolphin anyways. We're going to go here, and we're going to make sure is it Dolphin MJR? Come on. Focus! Okay, there it is. And it is indeed Dolphin MJR. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on Super Mario Galaxy. It's doing the Game Genie stuff, whatever. And we load up the save file. What will we notice? We will notice 60 FPS. Hmm. Is the hack off? Maybe the hack is not off. Oh, the hack is actually off. Well, hmm. 60. Hmm, but what if I move around? 60. Like on the fucking video. No lags, nothing. 60. Hmm. I guess the video was not fake. Hmm.